Welcome to video 12 to t -Bud's Film Reviews. I don't know, should I be still recounting? I don't know. In this video, I will be reviewing Free Guy. Man, what seemed like forever for its release, Free Guy finally came out on Friday. I feel like I've seen in 2019, in December, I think the trailer came out or something. It was like a commercial. And, you know, again, amongst like every other movie, everything got delayed and up until now. And let me tell you, Sean Levy really hit it out the park. He, I've never seen him have so much fun directing a movie before. He did the Night of the Museums movies. I think he did the internship with like Robert De Niro last a uh, couple of years ago with Anne Hathaway. That was not that good. And uh, he also did a Real Steel. I remember that was an awesome movie with the uh, you know hit, hit him up robots or whatever though that's sh hit him up shoot him up <laughs> with uh, Hugh Jackman. And that was a really awesome movie. But uh, yeah, he seemed like he was enjoying himself directing. And I mean Ryan Reynolds. What what else can you say about the dude? And he, he just has it. It's like whatever, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And he, he's really awesome. I, I Just probably being himself. Like, this is probably Deadpool, except in this free guy character. And, I mean, the cast was just amazing, too. Judy Comer from Killing Eve was uh, pretty awesome as the, as the you know, the um, the heroine and the stuff like that here. And uh, she, she was really good, and she had awesome chemistry with uh, Ryan Reynolds. Joe Keery was awesome too. He's from uh, Stranger Things. He was awesome on that, and he was really good in uh, Free Guy too. He had a really good chemistry with uh, Judy Comer as well. Lil Ray Harry was uh, Ryan Reynolds' best friend in the movie. He was so freaking funny. I I actually really enjoy his roles, and he's really funny as like that side character. Taika Waititi also. He was the villain, and he was actually really good in this movie too. He was so funny, and his comedic timing is just incredible. I love Taika Waititi. There was also a really hilarious cameo in this movie, and I really don't want to give it away. Like he, he I mean, yeah, he, he's a really funny being, a, like, you know, himself again, and like, yeah, you really got to see it to believe it, because he, he was funny again. I don't want to ruin it, so no spoilers here. Like Free Guy was so much fun. I don't, I don't think I remember I had that much fun in the movie theater in like a while. I mean, it was just so much fun, so much things to look at. It was really gorgeous, like all the action set pieces. The, I mean, Ryan Reynolds was funny, and like all, all of the stuff, like all the video game stuff. I'm pretty sure like a lot of people are gonna see maybe a little Ready Player One in here. And it's just, I mean, it's a little bit different, but maybe I could see why people think that those are homage to Ready Player One, because it's, uh, you know, to some people, Ready Player One is such a big deal. But Free Guy just knew what it was. It, it never was too much, never was, like, too corny. It's just everything was to the T, like, comedy, action, you know, a little bit of the sci-fi, a little, you know, a little bit kind of like, it wasn't rom-com, but there was a couple of, you know, like, a little rom-com vibes and stuff like that, but... Yeah, it was just it was just so much fun all around, and uh, I went to 4DX uh, at Regal, and it was just so incredible. It, you really felt like you were in a roller coaster or something. It was, it was a lot of fun. That's a perfect movie for 4DX. I kind of highly recommend if anyone has a 4DX available by them. I give Free Guy a nine. <laughs> 